Hi everybody, my name is Dave Howlett and welcome to Knocking Down Silos. You know, every day we open up the paper and we just see more bad news about the economy. And people tell us you got to be out there networking for opportunities, networking for a job, for a career, for clients. But the problem with networking is nobody ever showed us how to do it. And because we don't know how to do it, when we try it, we're just not that good at it. Well, things are going to change from now on. At Knocking Down Silos, it's not a speech, it's an experience. You're going to be surrounded by hundreds of real human beings just like you. And more importantly, we're going to show you a language of likability and surround you with people who want to help you, open up doors for you, and remember you six months later. That's why our experience is so successful, and that's why you need to come to Knocking Down Silos. Dave is an incredibly powerful speaker. Uh, I've been listening to speakers for 20 years now. I'm in the real estate industry and talk about energizing and rejuvenating people. Uh, what a great talk. This is my third Knocking Down Silos presentation and every time is definitely different and I really love how Dave takes these great huge concepts of a, about how to live morally and he breaks them down into these, these funny little tidbits of information and these are things that people can take home with them and they can live like from the second they walk out the door. So what we're going to do tonight is we are, for our code of conduct, going to treat each other for the rest of this evening as real human beings. An 18 year old student, you're not going to turn to the 50 year old and go, who's the gray hair next to me? I can't relate to this dude, he's not even on Facebook. I can't even... <laughs> I mean, if I poke him, he's going to get irritated. He doesn't know a poke is a compliment. But here's my theory, ladies and gentlemen. Life is a highway, and how you act behind the wheel of a car is how you act in your life. If you're a psycho on the road, you're a psycho in the company. If you're a goofball behind the wheel, you're a goofball with your kids. My goal tonight with all of you is to show you how to be a good guy or the woman's equivalent. Put that in the lecture the next day to the Hong Kong community. I was hoping the guy didn't write french fries in a burger. First gear is what's in it for me. What I need you to think about if you're going to be successful tonight is what I call third gear. And by the way, that's why the B looks like a three. It means move from one to three. In the United States, they call them heroes. Heroes is kind of an overdone word, but I'll tell you a definition of a true hero. A true hero is when somebody gets a medal, they look embarrassed. Because the medal is the wave, and they didn't do it for the wave. They did it because it's the right thing to do. Now I'm going to show you how to walk into any room and get people to like you, make a commonality with you, trust you, and listen to you, and remember you six months later. Everybody in this room who's really good at what they do but kind of shy about walking into a room and opening up a conversation, this is the answer. Every guy in the room over the age of 30, show me your watch. All right? And by the way, if you're single, or don't know if you're single, or want to be single, everything tonight can be used as dating advice. So there's your other takeaway. Everybody stand up. Find somebody and pay him a compliment. <laughs> I said, uh, if I get this watch, I need a story behind it. And he goes, why? I said, well, I speak on networking skills and I talk about watches a lot. And he goes, dude, Woody Harrelson was looking at that same watch two weeks ago. <laughs> and I said, I got it, man. I got the Woody Harrelson. If you want to make a connection with somebody else in the room here tonight and make a connection that's going to last, don't find out what they do for a living find out what they do when they're not doing what they're doing for a living. She said the interesting thing is he came with me to knocking down silos because he's got his own business and he wanted to get business for word of mouth and reputation. And she said, do you know, after he left, You've totally changed the way he drives his car now. You gotta suck it up, Buttercup. Life's not perfect. True professionals have one or two people they tell their problems to and everybody else gets the game face. Question is, do you have the game face? What's your biggest challenge? Denmark and the US, Canada, all over. I've never met any of them. I feel like I have to know that wherever I am, whatever purpose I'm fulfilling, it's for the better. 
Well, first off, I wanted to say Watch Your Weekend Challenges does work. That's what I got out of the first one. I have tried that a few times when I've been stuck, uh, what to say to people and just to open up, you know, break the ice, and I loved it. So I'm going to give you a little secret, and I've given thousands of people this secret, and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to ask you to do it. 100% of you will think it's a good idea. 20% of the people in the room will do it. The older you are and the more male you are, the less like you are to do it. The younger you are, the more female you are, the more like you are to do it. Let's see if you do it. I really appreciate your attendance tonight. Have a good night. We can all do something nice for everyone else, and uh, you know the whole nice watch situation was great. And also just asking friendly questions. What's your challenge? And what do you do on weekends? Get to know a little bit more about other people. And uh, finally, you know, try to be in third gear all the time. It's really amazing. Uh, I get a lot of learn a lot from it. I am from Syria. I have been here about three years. I am architect. Today I came to to listen to the David. He's a very good guy, and he give me a lot of advice. It's uh, make something different and uh, very good for me and my life. And this is my first knocking down silos, and it was extraordinary. A great time. Really take a lot away from it in terms of getting over myself. When you're in a work environment or any environment, um, you just always want to stay positive and speak of others how you want others to speak of you. Very interesting. I learned stuff that I don't think I've ever learned in university and lecture, stuff like that. I got a lot out of just the whole message. If I choose to live in first gear, I can say poor me and why me. If I choose to live in second gear and I want to reciprocate, then I can look at payback in a negative way. So it's taken me three days to get to third gear. I just have to say this is a really inspiring speech and really helped to recharge my batteries and remind myself that I, what I'm doing I'm passionate about and this is what I want to be doing and hopefully help me move forward in the future. I definitely recommend it to anybody. I was one of the lucky people to be, uh, to be profiled and about, I don't know, six or seven people have come up to me. Um, lots of great leads. And, uh, and I was able to help someone else too, so uh, it was great.